we see in the future is uh, uh, a shortage of oil. In the United States, we know we have a problem of oil dependence. This oil dependence costs our economy hundreds of billions of dollars every year in excess economic costs. The difference between the plug-in hybrid and a conventional car in terms of using gasoline, for example, and the efficiency of using gasoline, is that uh, the plug-in hybrid uh, gets twice the fuel economy of uh, conventional cars. We also have a problem of greenhouse gas emissions. Um, our transportation system uh, alone produces more uh, greenhouse gas emissions than any, any country in the world except China. The obvious question that comes up is, um, is an electric car really more efficient um, does it really produce less CO2 over its, over its full driving cycle, you know, well-to-wheel uh, um, energy consumption, than a gasoline car or other technologies that are on the market? Or is it just move the problem to the power plant? That's with today's power plants. With tomorrow's power plants, with the new emission standards coming in, uh, the um, plug-in hybrid will be cleaner than a conventional car. Cars are dramatically better than everything else on the market, not, not just existing cars, but way better than, for example, hydrogen fuel cell cars. They said, we don't think the hybrid vehicles can make it in the market. They're just going to be way too expensive and too complex, and, and they won't work that well. People will find that the battery runs down, and they, all of that was wrong. We're developing uh, cheaper and better motors and controllers. So we're developing the technology that I think we're going to need in the long run, whether we go to hydrogen or whether we go to plug-in hybrid vehicles or whether eventually we get to battery electric vehicles. The hybrid is a key technology in that step forward. In the